Detroit Sooners Weaver here and I am the Viper Sooner. Today's video we're going to be looking at a line test. Anytime you're carrying a navigation pod such as the AAQ-13, you're going to want to conduct a test at the beginning to make sure all systems are functioning properly. So stay tuned, we're going to turn around the line and we'll show you how that's done. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you reference your Dash 34 manual in the Docs folder of your BMS directory on page 135, you'll see they list the uh, TFR procedures for conducting your land tests. They illustrate each little step that you're going to want to conduct to make sure that you're testing all the systems and make sure they're functioning properly. A good tip is to make yourself a lineup card as I've done here. All I did was I took a satellite image of the area that I'm operating out of. So this is Neanderthal Air Base uh, done through Google Maps. And then I just uh, drew in a flight path line for the radio of 160 and then added uh, my numbers for each step that I want to conduct during the land test. And then in this table box here I just listed just a little reminder to make sure I'm doing the steps properly. Okay, so let's jump in the pit and we'll show you how this is done. Gap four, contact departure. Cobra six, position and hold, runway two six. Position hold two six for Okay, so we're sitting here getting ready to take off, going to go to the TFR page, and we're going to make sure that is on, and we're going to set it to 1,000 feet, going to go to our ELO, we'll set that, make sure that's 200 feet, set our MSL of 11,000, and our terrain point of advance is going to be 1,000 feet higher than our lowest terrain. So we're going to set it at 5600. So all we're going to do now is going to wait for takeoff. And then we're just going to fly runway heading until we reach uh, 5 nautical miles. And then we're going to turn back the opposite heading and we're going to intercept radio 160. Wait 290 at 1 knots, runway 26. You're clear for takeoff. Take out two six cover six. Okay, I drop pressure. All pressure is good. And here we go. Starting now. That's still good. Might as well stern off. And we are looking good. For one six for rotate. And here we go. And we're up. So we're going to continue with the 5 degree climb, following this heading to 5 nautical miles. And we're going to hold over 340 knots. Go, go, six, one, contact departure. Could be six, push departure. Angelo's departure, Cobra 6, 216 is climbing 1000. Cobra 6. Departure, fly heading 240, resume on navigation. So we're going to go up to about 1500 feet, which will do fine. And at five nautical miles, we're going to turn back. And we're going to try to hold 340 knots. And we're going to turn back now to go trail. Two. And we're going to put our wingman in trail formation. You can be doing the same. Okay, we're looking good. And we're going to fly 
Alright, let's head into intercept uh, radio 160, which we're now going to set our ALO here to 900 feet, and we're going to turn her on. And we're going too slow, so we're going to throttle up now to 400, at 360, the flashing will stop. That's good. And we're going to hold 400 knots here. And once we intercept our radio 160, we're going to come and say right uh, 60 degree bank, which is going to put up our limits. Should get the flashing, and there it is. Good. And now we're going to turn our TFR on. She's going to settle up at a thousand feet. I'm going to try to hold 400 knots here. And now we're going to force the nose down. Minus two and a half degrees. At 900, we're going to press warning. We're going to hit the override. Turn the auto TFR off. Six bits is going to pull up, and we're going to have a reset. And we're going to switch to 500 for our CP. And we're going to change our a little 400 feet. We're going to fly the box here. Now we're going to do about a 30 degree bank. And we're going to hit the uh, test. Pull up, 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 and we get check attitude, looks good. Pull up, pull and hit a reset up, again. Reset the swims, clear that out. And with old TFR, we go to standby, and we have now completed the test. So there we have it. Simple as that. Now we're on route to our mission.